Shinjobi. Mm -hmm. Now, earlier, Hot Dog Knight took Shinjobi to three games, and that would have put Hot Dog Knight into winners. But Hot Dog Knight uh, was in losers, unfortunately losing to Ruins. Mm -hmm. um, but Shinjobi's first or second best from Minnesota? Uh, Shinjobi is second. Second? City Boo's one? No, he's number one. Oh, he's one. Shinjobi's one? Oh, well, City Boo got back late, probably. So he probably got back in the middle of a PR season. Yeah, okay. Okay. So yeah, City Boo ended up getting back late from Iowa, where he was number one. So if right. any other time, I think number one, it's kind of a rotation between Shinjobi, Ganon, who I believe is number two now, and then, of course, City Boo, so... I would love to see that Ganon. Ganon the Beast, right? Hey, he was another guy that I asked to come out too, but he was like, man, I, I'm losing a parent matchup right now. I lose it pretty significantly. Oh. <laughs> like, at least they say no, I'm body. Like, I got to lab it. Though. I got to lab it in a few years. That matchup's 99 to 1. Right. <laughs> but you know, though, he did go to Smash and Splash last year too, so I was. I was oh, really, yeah. yeah. That might have been one of the last big events that he went to. And of course, Minnesota's pushed more buttons. I was there, so. So we're getting another Greninja Villager matchup. We saw MDG and Dexter earlier. Now Shinjobi and Skilliger. The Once Upon a Time number one here from Nebraska. Pretty much through all of Smash 4's entirety here locally. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's been number one. I, I've never, I never thought in a million years that he would be anywhere but one. I was uh, at the tournament where Nev first appeared. It was in it was Folk, uh, I think, or Grand Island. It was, I don't think it was Omaha. Uh, the, the tournament that Nev first went to, I believe, was at Nebraska Nintendo one, where we all went Little oh, Mac. Oh, okay, okay. That, that was his first one. But the first one he beat him at, though, was the one that you were Okay, at, that's one That's the that. first okay. one he beat him. And, man, I had never seen salt like that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. It was nice. Absolutely. It, was just, it, was, it wasn't nice to see Villager lose. It was just nice to see, like, oh, someone has a chance against Villager now. <laughs> someone has a chance against this man, Cody. Oh, okay, so nice Dragon Ball Z trays right there. This match still pretty neck and neck for the most part. So Nebraska's number two getting ready to face off against Minnesota's number one. Nice fall away fair. I feel like Shinjobi plays a pretty different, uh, plays a pretty different Greninja than Dexter. I, I will give him that. He seems to be a bit more aggressive. As we see, man, Dexter, uh, he kind of keeps that that mental fortitude. Like he, he keeps it to himself. I mean, he's very stoic when he plays, emotionless. I mean, he's uh, he's mentally tough. He plays very defensive, man. My man Shinjobi, he likes to get into the nitty gritty, man. He likes to jump into the thick of battle and really hold. Oh, the oh. down! Oh. oh, the up smash will do it. Oh my goodness! And that up smash, tip or hitbox, you we know who he brought that from. He brought that from that girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, two ninjas. I mean, sure, they're gonna have similar moves uh, somewhere. Wow, okay, three another, turns again. Absolutely, man. Two dares in a row. Does get the nice follow-up off of that. Now applying a lot of platform pressure. Cody finds himself on the receiving end, though, after all of that. It's really funny that Cody's getting hit with a lot of these uh, shurikens. I mean, keep in mind, this character can pocket things. I mean, literally, if it can be picked up, if, you, if it can be shot, he can take it for the most part. I'm not sure why he would wouldn't want to. So it looks like it takes a, a larger shuriken to destroy the Lloyd. Mm -hmm. We were wondering that earlier, but those mini ones, uh, Lloyd was just eating them up. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And Shinjobi, man, all those MJG friendlies definitely starting to pay off here. Cody, I mean, doing a very good job. I mean, I, I'm not going to toot my state's uh, own horn, but I mean, I think it goes Renai, and it goes MJG, and it goes my boy Skilliger. I would agree with that list. And definitely third best villager in the game, second best in America. I mean, you guys are willing to debate it if you want. But I mean, when you get fifth at Super Bit Wars, you know. And then it, he got top 16 at Combo Breaker last year, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it's hard to. I think he got like. He got ninth, I think. He got like ninth at Combo Breaker. Oh, that's breaker. right, because he started in winners, didn't he? Yeah, he got ninth at Combo Breaker. So, I mean, it, we can't really argue that. All right, man, but my man Skillager is definitely struggling in this matchup. Greninja, a character that we don't normally deal with here in Nebraska. I mean, uh, I know I mess around with Greninja, but I mean, if, if you let my Greninja body, then you should be playing <laughs> should be playing Smash 4 Pro. I think uh, Quad A is the only one that kind of plays Greninja, but even then, he, he plays other characters mostly. That he does, man. He kind of bit, a bit of a character crisis that, that sometimes can make our state suffer because we also have a we have a rosy problem as well and apparently a fox problem so yeah a couple characters we need to lab out a little bit more we thought we had it down but apparently we need to get the notebooks out and do some homework good down tilt uh can't go for that up air oh but it did go for that up air okay okay that's a two stock that is a very very strong two stock up tilt right into up air i man Shinjobi taking no prisoners boy skills are unfortunately getting bodied there a little hard they did good in doubles though if i'm not mistaken today 
Cody and Nose? Um, they made top eight. Okay. So <laughs> Very nothing. That, that's where it, that's where it ends. <laughs> so, um, no, they got knocked out to Sinibu and Dexter. Yeah. Um. And Sealedra looked okay against uh, Dexter's Greninja. Yeah. There were a couple one-on-one -on -one situations. Okay. Um, but it looks like a tough matchup. I don't think it's so much a Greninja problem, because even when we were seeing MJG and Dexter go at it, mm -hmm. it just looks like Villagers could have some problems getting in there. Yes. It's doable, but it does seem like a wonky matchup. That it does. Very, very lopsided for the most part. Okay, another stage where Greninja's uh, killing tools they open up a little bit here, man. Villager gets caught on that top platform, any of the platforms, really. Uh, but more specific, the two center stage, I mean, that's up Smash City. Okay, nice run in and out. Uh, going heads up right now oh. in the neutral. Gets punched out of the grab. Oh. Okay, Lloyd Rocket's coming out. Like that a lot, man. Using it to give himself some coverage as he comes in. So I think we've seen a million moves thrown out already, and yet it's only 37 to 12%. <laughs> right. <laughs> We're a full minute into the match. <laughs> yeah. Almost a full minute in, man. Okay, there's a back here there. The Greninja turning his back to you while you're trying to come back towards the ledge is not a good spot to be in, man. That's not what you want to see. Then again, though, you also don't want to see Villager standing over you, dropping a bowling ball on your head. That's true. I mean, Cody could easily run away with this, man, if you can get Shinjobi off stage. Now, yeah, because what MJG was doing against uh, Dexter earlier was getting him off stage and using the bowling ball and trees as pressure. Mm -hmm. But Skillager hasn't quite been able to do the same thing to Shinjobi. Absolutely not. Okay, man. Uh, okay, a lot still, of movement. Yeah, absolutely, man. The movement is definitely uh, optimal, man. It's definitely unmatched. But you know what? That's what happens, man. We are this far into bracket, man. Okay. It's better than just constantly rolling away and towards, you know, some poor glory shenanigans that you see. This yeah, is, I, I this definitely. This the top players. This is the top 32. Definitely, man. I wouldn't want to see a lot of rolling here, especially not versus somebody like a villager. I mean, if Ninja gets caught on one bad roll, that's turn around forward smash easily. Okay, but a uh, different match, different start off than what we uh, seen there in the last set. Due to, uh, how big the stage is, both of these two guys are living significantly long. Oh! Ooh. I think he was trying to read the standing up or rolling away. Didn't expect to roll in. It's possible if that Lloyd Rocket could have exploded. He could have got a nice grab after that. So Right. Oh, okay. Getting a good feel for each other. Still finding no openings for the most part. Okay, 127% right now on my man Shinjobi. Definitely sewing this match oh. down to his favor, but it doesn't even matter because my man Skillger finds a three turn up up air, and that is his untimely demise. A lot of slingshot pressure, yeah. which is pretty much Villager's uh, staple. Yeah, That's Villager in a nutshell, man. The ability to apply shield pressure from the other side of the room is it's unmatched by, by any character in this game. It's not a character that comes close that can do stuff like that. Okay, again, another back here there. Really trying to create himself some distance between this very scary frog. Greninja, once he gets in, things get a little frightening. I mean, we've, we've seen it earlier, man. We've seen Nair into uh, Fair. We've seen up tilt into auto canceled up air. I mean, then it just gets ugly from there because then you can opt into dare. You can opt into some uh, nice footstool combos. So Cody doing a good job at uh, basically adapting after that two stock that last match. I don't think he was quite ready for the Greninja gameplay. Okay, there's one back air. Villager still good job racking up damage. He's got 65% on him. It's, it's rough for a villager to approach physically. I know a lot of people get annoyed with how many Lloyd Rockets they probably see per match, but I'm like, dude, all he really has is Nair, honestly. All he really has is Nair up close. Oh. Ooh, gets him off stage, so this is the chance for her. He's going to recover. Predicted the Shadow uh, Sneak. Now, Cody does okay versus some Greninjas. I know he played uh, uh, Gibbous in Oklahoma. Another very, very strong Greninja. He actually beat him at Bid War, so... And I, I feel like, as much as I love Greninja, there's only really so many ways you can play him. I mean, if you played one, you kind of played them all at high level. Oh, I'll throw not killing yet. Maybe if Greninja had that 2% extra bit to, for that Rage. Now Villager at full Rage. So Greninja's got to be careful of a back throw. Oh, the Lloyd will do it. Okay, using the grab armor to cushion the blow as he did that up throw. That is... It's kill throw. Okay, Shinjobi right now looking to use his rage and really chip away at my man Cody. Cody looking to build up a wall. 
Oh, oh wow, wow, that was quick. Oh, my goodness. I saw on the respawn platform, I saw Skillager wait there the whole time. And look at the timer. It said, I've got a minute and a half. That I, I, I don't have to approach at all. Mm -hmm. And I think Shinjobi recognized that. Immediately ran in. Back throw. Done. Did what he had to do, man. I don't expect to see a character switch from either of these two guys, especially not this late in bracket, though. Cody does have some pretty strong characters in his arsenal. Cody as well has a Toon Link, um, has a very strong Meta Knight and Luigi. So, I mean, if you really wanted to tangle toe to toe, Cody would be a good shot. Skillager's got a. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, scratch that. Gibbons is actually from DFW, but he was in Oklahoma for Super Bit Wars. Okay. So, yeah, where, where they do uh, the Shockwave events by Tourney Locator. Okay, so Villager. Oh, I was going to say, he immediately pocketed the shuriken, but then just threw it already. Yeah. Okay, so this is game three. Winner will play JJ Rockets. Loser will play Slow Joe. Okay. So, Cody, probably looking for that JJ run back. Beat him pretty good at the pre-Nexus event. Um, and I'm not quite sure what the set count is, though I'm sure JJ is leading. Cody definitely needs some of those wins under his belt to try to reestablish himself as number one next season. So, well, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, did they trade sets? Like, Cody beat him in winners, but yeah, then lost then JJ, losers? Yeah, JJ knocked him out in, in five. Yep. But hey, this is best of three, so True. that's what Cody won it. Yeah, so. absolutely. Okay, there's an up there there. Cody right now trailing slightly here. 61% right now to a strong 29. Oh, that is a dead... do it! That is Skillager. a okay. <laughs> Call PETA now. Get the Humane Society out here. That boy is dead. <laughs> that, that boy's getting those frog legs cooked. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Shout out to the guys in the back oh. with the Vuvuzelas. That's amazing. <laughs> what are those called? Vuvuzela. Well, how do you, why do you know that? <laughs> okay. So, in the 2012 World Cup, yes. it was in South Africa. Oh, yeah. And that was the instrument in, yes. uh, in that uh, area. Yes. And I was telling Ruins on stream earlier that... The Vuvuzelas were so popular that in the video game that came out, there was an actual setting for Vuvuzela. Yeah. But it wasn't a meter. It was, do you want them on or do you want them off? And wow. when they were on, you could not hear the game. Oh <laughs> my goodness gracious. <laughs> wow. I definitely just learned something today on stream. <laughs> oh my god. I thought it wasn't real, but then uh, my college buddy had it. And I was like, hold on, let me pause the game for a second. And I was like, oh. Oh, body. <laughs> so, up a uh, pretty good amount. Skillager's only at 89% and he already tacked on 57% damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Maze definitely holding it down, man. Uh, I know he's a. Uh, he was kind of thinking about taking a break from Smash. Um, then he got picked up by HSC. Like he got his love back, man. He was going Palutena for the longest. I'm really surprised that we didn't see any of that earlier in like pools yesterday, but I think hey, man, maybe worried. another day. I mean, his Palutena's good, um, but I think he would just thought, my villager's more polished. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, you always want to go for, like, do I want to go for the character that I'm comfortable with, or do I want to pick yeah. the character that I think my opponent's not up to date on? Right. Uh, in fact, I went a couple times as Link, even though it would have been a more favorable uh, matchup as Toon Link, mm -hmm. but I didn't feel comfortable yeah. uh, going Toon Link in those matchups. Yeah. There's a big difference between Link and Toon Link. I know a lot of people may not see that, but it definitely is. Uh, watch Yeti and Dane Right. They're doing pretty good. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I played with them in, uh, in Minnesota. It wasn't nothing pretty. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, the mix-ups are real ugly wow. right there with the forward smash. I'm liking that a lot, man. Down tilt can really screw up your opponent when you're Greninja. Oh. Give me some room, Skillager set. There's oh. a Nair there. That boy finds himself off stage. Narrowly escapes. Back throw will do it. Narrowly escapes a bowling ball. Eats a backer because he, or back throw, excuse me, because he had to recover high. <laughs> and that is the sound of that boy's death. <laughs> The buzz is sitting next to rad ass badass, and he's just blowing the boo boo sailor. Unbelievable. And the buzz telling Dr. Pete <laughs> earlier if you blow that during my match, I'm going to kill.